Welcome to Veterans in Politics. We're out and about. We're at the old Toronto Maple Leafs uh, Gardens. I'm sitting here with Jim Cummins. Uh, Jim, your son founded the Heroes Hockey Challenge. You also did 35 years in the Canadian military. You retired as a Chief Warrant Officer. You want to talk a little bit about, you know, how does it feel knowing that your son, Glenn, founded the Heroes Hockey Challenge? Well, it makes me very proud of him, of course. Uh, what he's doing is he's putting the military out there in the population in different cities across Canada. He started up, uh, I think it was in uh, Edmonton, um, or Calgary, I'm sorry, and he's now gone to three or four different cities across Canada. And um, today we're in Toronto here, and it looks like the game is going to be something else. Uh, uh, we've got a lot of uh, popular people coming here. Uh, I think uh, General uh, Kenzie is going to be here, and there's uh, all kinds of people that uh, want to see uh, what the Canadian forces uh, are all about. And this is just one little part of it. So I'm very proud of him uh, for doing this. You did 35 years in the Canadian military. You want to talk a little bit about, I know you did about, you are saying you did eight years over in Germany, Borden, Kingston, and Montreal. You also did London. Yeah, London, Ontario. But I also am uh, very proud of uh, the fact that uh, I went to uh, Egypt in uh, 1956 when uh, the Suez Canal crisis was on. And they, uh, excuse me, i a little sentimental here. Uh, they dropped us in between the Egyptians and the British uh, on the Canal Zone. So uh, I did 30 months there. Then uh, in 64, I went to Cyprus and did six months there. So uh, I've been away uh, quite a bit of my military career. Um, spent a lot of time in Montreal and in the school in Kingston. I'm a, uh, what we call a Remy rat. Uh, people who uh, see this will know exactly what I'm, ta I'm talking about. Um, I was an electrician and uh, enjoyed my time in, in the military. As you look at the military now compared to when you served, what kind of differences do you see and you know, what's the main message you want to send to Canadians to help them to you know, start appreciating the military? Well, the big difference that I see is uh, that the uh, Canadian military today, and I'm uh, sorry to say this, but it doesn't seem to have the camaraderie that we had uh, when I was in. Um, and I think it's possibly because the messes, the sergeant mess and the officer's mess and the corporal's mess, uh, they used to be gathering places for us where we could talk at the same level, regardless of your rank. Uh, that's gone pretty well now. And, uh, for good reasons, I guess, because the you know, drinking uh, in the military was uh, before it was pretty heavy, and sometimes that got in the way of doing your work. So uh, that's possibly the big thing I see. Uh, and I, I would imagine when you go to the field, there's all kinds of camaraderie, but uh, that's a big difference. So how would you feel? Uh if you were to do one thing to help get Canadians to, you know, start to relate to what the military is, what was the one thing you'd love to see be done? Hmm, that's a that's a real big question. Probably the chief of staff could answer that one. I don't know. Uh, uh, gosh, I I would like to see it more publicized in in the way that uh, Glenn is doing. Uh, get get it out there to the people that, hey, we're not, uh, you know, the, the military is not just burning the money. The military is trying to do a job wherever they're sent. And uh, sometimes they're sent into very, very bad places. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I just get it out there more, I guess. Uh, that's what I'm saying. And looking back at the Heroes Hockey Challenge, yes. you know, when, when you've sat in the stands and you're watching other wounded uh, soldiers go out there, are family members of the fallen. What's going through your mind as, as you're watching them on, on center ice, well, part of the game? Yeah, uh, I get very emotional about that. Um, a good friend of mine is uh, Master Corporal uh, Paul Franklin. I don't know if you met him, but he'll be here today. I was talking to him last night. He's uh, lost both legs over there in Afghanistan uh, in 2006. So he's as far as I'm concerned, he's my hero, and uh, he'll be out at center ice tonight.
Well, thank you so much for your time there, Jim. And your son is an amazing individual. Uh, you know, watching, uh, going through the website of Heroes Hockey Challenge, tremendous information on the PP Cell I. The work that's been done is just out of this world. Well, thank you for inviting me. I'm very proud to be here.